Good morning everyone, this is Sunday the 19th of July and it's episode 31. Today on the show I'd like to talk about people not complying with the social distancing rules. It is very disappointing when people are giving warnings not to have large groups when they organise a party and they shouldn't organise a party in the first place. Up to 60 people hopefully will be fine for this and and for failing to comply with the rules. It is hard enough with, uh, for the government to make the right decision and, and thanks to this the government may have to tighten the screws on the restrictions as of next Friday. So I am very disappointed to hear where about people breaking the rules and disobeying the rules. I know it's not a, a nice way to start the show, but, you know, if people are going to go around being idiots and flouting the rules, well, they, they will be the ones paying the price and being stupid. Another thing that has disappointed me um, is people driving recklessly on our roads. Last night, an incident at Eleanora Heights claimed the life of a teenage boy and, and five people were injured in the crash. The accident happened at 11.30, 11.20pm last night. So please be careful on the, on the roads guys, especially if it's late at night. Now getting back to disobeying social distancing rules, it really is very disappointing when I have to tell you viewers watching my YouTube channel that it is very frustrating when people are not abiding by the rules of COVID-19. We have already had some cases in Sydney's West and we hope that we don't get any more and let's hope that people are not going to be so stupid and complacent anymore. People were thinking that the COVID-19 virus is over but unfortunately it's not. So don't assume that COVID-19 is over and the curve is going to go down. Well, the curve is going to go up if people continue to flout the rules. So for goodness sake, don't be stupid. Don't keep flouting the rules. Don't have much numbers of people in your homes and have big parties because the police will be coming and they will shut the party down and and you excuse me and you will be fine a lot of money and we don't want to be back at square one again like we were on the 27th of March. 
So we don't want to see any more of the hard work being undone when the Prime Minister and the Minister have done so well. So please, guys, don't be fools out there and throughout the rules, especially those in Brisbane on Friday night after, after large groups of people gathered and, and flouted the rules. Well, I hope that the people who flout the rules will learn the hard way and, and hopefully this will not happen again. Well, let's hope this doesn't continue to happen because we don't want to be back at square one again. Like I said uh, just a, a second ago. So please, it's okay to have some fun, but be careful because there are enough cases in Sydney's West already and, and and I just can't believe that so idiots out there are not taking COVID-19 seriously and assuming that it's all going to be over soon. Well, it's not. So, so for my sake and yours, please stay home. And don't go out for no reason, okay? Only go out if you need essentials like your shopping or appointments or for work. Now on to something positive on the show for this Sunday the 19th of July and um, tonight we are having a roast pork I think and what a way to end the Sunday roast pork yum oh do you like roast pork let me know down below here I'd like to hear from you about roast pork now, what can you serve with leftover roast pork? Well, you can serve apple sauce with it, okay? And you can have it on a wrap or a sandwich, whatever floats your boat. So, so this is episode 31 of my daily wraps on, on my channel. And please do continue to watch um, my new episodes. This is episode 31 now. Um, and the time is uh, five minutes, six minutes after 10 o'clock on this Sunday morning. And I hope uh, you are having a lovely Sunday morning and I do apologize for starting the show on a negative note but I had to get this message across to you viewers watching out there now. I know I shouldn't be starting my shows on a negative note guys but what I've heard on the news today really did disappoint me. So, so I've got a bit of advice to, to end part one of the show. Please don't be a fool and play out the rules because we don't want to end up in, in lockdown again. Okay, and even if you haven't got symptoms, you still have to be tested. 
and like I've been saying, I'm on the videos, guys. Okay. Sanitize. This is very important. Okay. And remember to have enough disinfectants, paper towels, and green 20 and cloths in my home to clean everything, guys. So, clean, cleanliness, guys, is very important, and you must make sure that you wash your hands for 30 seconds, but if you can't get access to a sink, um, like I just said, uh, sanitize there, guys, okay? because this is important and especially if you are touching an animal because you don't know what germs they may have. So I will be back uh, with part two of the show um, later today and I'm going to be talking about why, why it is important to stay safe um, during the COVID-19 here in Sydney. And in Victoria, sadly, a lot of cases have happened. So let's hope we don't end up like Victoria. So, so for, for everyone watching, I'm uh, just reminding you once more before I do go to the break, uh, sanitize your hands, okay? This is important. And if you are unwell, uh, stay home because staying home is the only way to get better. And that's the end of part one. Part two is coming up. There, the time is ten past ten on Sunday morning. Thanks for joining me. Part two coming up later. <laughs>